In this final video, we'll hook the macro up with a button and make it available in two places. In a custom group on the ribbon that I'll create on the developer tab that I'll call My Macros, and up here on the Quick Access Toolbar. First, I'll create a custom group for the developer tab. I click the File tab, Options, Customize Ribbon, and then I make sure Developer is checked. I click New Group, and here's our new group. I click Rename, and call it My Macros. Now let's find the macro and add it to this custom group. I go over here and choose Commands from Macros. I select the Fill Days Relative R macro that's stored in my personal workbook and click Add. Here it is. It's now in the group and I want to rename it. I click Rename and call this Fill Days. You can have spaces in display names. While I'm at it, I'll replace its rather cryptic icon with this icon that looks a little bit like a calendar. I click OK. Click OK again, and here's my macro button in my custom My Macro group. I click it, and it works. Now I'll show you how to add the same macro to the Quick Access Toolbar, so it'll be up here next to Redo. Click File, Options, and this time click Quick Access Toolbar. Again, I choose commands from macros, and here's the macro in my personal workbook. Click Add. To rename it, click Modify, call it Fill Days, and choose the same grid icon. I click OK, and click OK again. Now here it is up on the Quick Access Toolbar. I click it, and of course it works great again. Now you've got a pretty good idea about how to implement macros in Excel. Of course, there's always more to learn. So check out the course summary at the end, and best of all, explore Excel 2013 on your own.